What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, the Real Ali, the Great, and I'm back with another video for you guys. In today's video, we're about to do a Muay Brad slash Muay Thai video. Reason for that is because <clears throat> I seen a dude on YouTube and whatever, and he was basically basically try to talk about Muay Thai versus boxing or whatever but in the video he wasn't really doing the stuff correctly you know he was basically doing some of the stuff wrong and everything and he wasn't just he wasn't explaining it as well as he should so I'm about to basically go over some things he screwed up on and everything I'm not gonna really say his name and whatever but the dude is just a fake fraud anyway on YouTube He's a fake, you know, fighter. He's not a real fighter. He never had a background of martial arts. But let's just get right into the video, guys. And I'm about to discuss some Muay Thai training, Muay Baran training, and then get, you know, a few moves in or whatever. So let's get right into it. Okay. You guys can see Hopefully. So, like I said, I was watching the dude's video. I'm not going to call his channel out or whatever because it would just be disrespectful to even put his channel in there because then he'll get mad and say, why did you do that? Like that. So, the dude was basically doing a movie tie video. And what I noticed was he was messing up on, like, basically a couple of things, almost everything. So... One of them was, was, it was the teeth kick. He tried to say, he tried to say, oh, go to teeth kick like this, but he was leaning back doing it. You're not supposed to lean back. This is how you properly throw the teeth kick. I'm gonna show you three different ways to, you know, different positions on how to do this. So you have your hands like this, arms, elbows tucked in, and then, boom, like that. Boom, boom. Notice my back is not bending. Again. Boom. 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 Just straight. Same with this side. Boom. 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 Or you can just do it with your heel. If you can't do it forward with your foot, you can just heel to you. So he was doing it wrong. He was just doing it like this go like that. And that's not how you do it. But I just showed you that's how you do it properly. And the other thing he messed up on was he said, if you're on the street and you're fighting like a boxer or whatever, he said, you gotta get in, in your stance or whatever doing this. You're not supposed to. That's only for if you're competing in the ring and whatever, and doing the Muay Thai stuff in the ring. Which I'm taught is the old school Muay Brown, which is more, you know, it's basically the same thing but ours is not really supposed to be for the ring unless you gotta use it in the ring. But it's it's only for like the streets and for like self defense purposes, like I said. Only for the streets. That's it. You know? That's the only time to use it. But the dude was doing that and everything. Like he was doing this, so you gotta do this. And like I did, just told you just now, you're not supposed to do that. The, the, the key idea is when you fight your opponent, they're not supposed to know your martial arts. They're not supposed to know your jiu-jitsu master, Muay Thai master, Kung Fu, uh, let's see, Karate, you know, Taekwondo, whatever, Kickboxer, you know, different, uh, different fight styles or art, martial arts styles you do. They're not supposed to know that you do that, you know. A boxer is going to just be confused because... If you like, here's the thing. You, if you're fighting your opponent, you gotta stand still and be like, "Listen, man, I don't want no trouble." Like this, and you don't have to do like no poses or nothing, you know. Because if you're doing this or you squaring up like that, they're gonna know. Okay, this dude's a fighter. I could beat him. You, they're not supposed to know. The thing is, you play mind games with them and they try to say, "Oh." I'm gonna beat the brakes off of you. You just be like, listen, I don't want no trouble. Back the heck away from me. 
like that. And if they try to take a swing at you, that's when you go block and then hit hit them. You know, say with this side, block and then hit them like that. The dude was basically doing it all wrong, saying that you do that fancy posing, not supposed to. Like I said again, only for the room purposes. And like I said this again, my son's only for the street unless you got to. Give me one minute, guys. I gotta take care of my little brothers. Okay, I'm back. So I had to tell them to be quiet. I don't want like no interruptions in my video or like a lot of noise because they get loud. But anyways, yeah, that dude, that dude was basically just wrong. You know, like he was all he, like he was like trying to say, oh, throw the team kick like this. You're not supposed to. He was also wrong because he said, he said, you're not supposed to stand like this. You said, oh, you're supposed to stand like this and then do your pose and whatever. It doesn't really matter how you stand. I can stand like this on my side and say, come do something. I don't really have to stand like face to face with my opponent. I can still look at my opponent face to face. That's what the dude was wrong at. You can if you want to, but you don't got to. And then another thing what he was saying was, he said, if they come after you, he said, you throw the teep in, he said, no matter what, they're not going to hit you in the stomach. Well, technically, if you're doing this, they're going to have every right and come hit you in the stomach. The only time you use the teep is unless if you got to, you know, just in case they didn't want to keep going or run like a maniac, that's when you throw the teep kick at them. That's the only time. But he said, and they're just walking up to you and whatever throw the teeth in, and he said, in your stomach, he said, they won't hit your stomach. But technically, they could sidestep and hit you in the stomach. The ways to block that and avoid that is if they come after you, you go like that. Just block it like that. Again, block it like that. Same with this side. You block like that. Again, block like that. That's how you block it so that you don't get hit in the stomach. You just go like that, because it's just gonna hit your arm, hit the leg, which is fine, you know. Another thing too was he he stole he stole this thing that me and my father had did three years ago. We was training in our cabin or whatever. So we trained in our cabin. And my father had shown me a move. He said, he said there's a block now. I'm gonna teach you. And he says this block, like that. The dude in the video said it's called combing your hair. I don't call it that. It's called a block. You know, so you just go like that. Kids that they try to hit or fish you, you just go boom like that. Or you just get up underneath the chain if you need to. Same with this side. You go boom like that again. Boom like that. You know, that's that's the proper way to throw it. He wasn't throwing that correctly, and his kids were exactly as accurate as it be. Like he was practicing on like a chair. Like he wasn't doing this on like the bag or whatever. So that was another thing he screwed up. Also when he was practicing with his opponent who was trying to be the boxer, he comes in, his, his friend comes in and does like the boxing thing and tries to fight him. And what he does, what he does is as soon as he walks in he just goes like, like that. Like, it's like dude. That's not what happens. The dude has to come after you, and then you can pop that move out real quick. You know, pop the teeth, kick out. You don't just literally, literally just walk and go like that. You're not supposed to even walk to do the teeth kick. You're supposed to stand still, not do anything, and if he comes after you, boom, and then throw it, unless you got to, you know? So that was just, it was just like another thing he screwed up on, you know? like. It was like, dude, if you're showing, if you're showing a art that's like deadly, like Nijitsu and Muay Thai is the most deadliest arts out there, you know. Same with like Drunken Master and Kung Fu or whatever, but it's mostly them two. Mostly Nijitsu, because it's the art of stealth and it's stay silent and everything. So the people don't try to hear you. That takes a lot of practice, you know. But like, like I said. If you're going to teach an art, do it correctly. Don't try to teach it 
and be like, oh, this is the proper way how to do it, or this is how you have to do it. No, that's not how you do it. You're doing it completely wrong. You're basically making the real martial art fighters, not the fake ones, the real ones like Bruce Lee, Brandon Lee, Jackie Chan, Jet Li, you know, Donnie Yen, Tony Ja, Jean Claude Van Damme, Steven Seagal, my father, my uncle Hamza, my uncle Maurice, my uncle Lee, his student CJ Schuyler, my four students, and me and my cousin out there, and my brothers and my sister. You basically, us in the martial arts, you basically, you basically making us like look bad. You know, is what I'm saying. You basically, you basically making us like look bad. And making us look like, oh, this is how we fight. We fight sloppy. You're not supposed to. And there's another thing where people are saying, oh, if you do this and throw kicks like that and kicks like this and knees like that and knees like that, it's not comfortable. It doesn't have to be comfortable. That's the point. It's not supposed to feel comfortable when you have your hands up. You have your hands up, I was talking because you got to block it in case someone comes after you like that. You can just block it or brush your arm off like that. That's the point of that, you know? It's to block at all times to cover your face so that way they don't try to hurt you or whatever. I mean, you still get hurt, but you know what I mean. So that was that was just the thing that just upset me, you know? And then there was another video when these guys weren't throwing kicks correctly. They were just doing this. Like that, they were like, like that's, that's bullshit. Excuse me for all language, but that's bullshit. That's not the proper etiquette on how to do martial arts. Martial arts is discipline, you know. I've been doing this since I was like a little, little, little baby. Basically since I was one year old, I've been training my whole life. And that's a fact. I might not do it every day, but at least I do it every other day or every two days, you know. But still, like, that's just the thing that pisses me off, you know. And just, this is the thing with me. Tough guys don't impress me, you know? They don't at all. You try to act tough, okay, that's you. You know, do what you want to do. But at the end, don't come train, you know? Go ahead and don't be successful, you know? I teach my students the art of discipline because if they act down in class, I say, hey, you act, you act down in class, excuse me, you act out of class, you're going to be disciplined for it. You're going to be punished for it. Meaning you're going to do losses, you're going to do, you're going to do squats, you're basically going to do push-ups on your knuckles, or I'm going to have you squat like this with books and bricks in your hands, and make them do it for as long as I need them to do it. To teach them like, hey, we won't ever mess with our teacher like that again. You know? And my students, their grandmasters, is my father, and his teachers, my Uncle Lee and my Uncle Maurice, that's their grandmasters right there, you know? So if they gotta teach them something, my students has to learn that. You know, they gotta pay attention. Otherwise, they're gonna discipline them, they have every right to, you know? I know my father would say, oh, they're your students, you know, I don't really got to do it. It's reasonable, you know? And that's why I got respect for my, my, for my father, you know, and my uncles, or whatever, and the mother other martial artists that I mentioned, you know. That's why I got respect for them and his students too. So I just wanted to get that out out all the way. Get that all out the way because like it just still it just still don't make sense. Like you're gonna do a video and you properly you don't do the stuff properly. You're not throwing your punches correctly, you're basically just straight army day. You're supposed to have it slightly bent and then pop it back. Notice that. Now watch this again. Slow mo, boom, boom, boom. Like that. Again, slow mo, boom, and fast. Like that. That's how you throw the punch correctly. And that dude was just ended up doing them straight. He wasn't doing them correctly. You know, his kicks were off. His Strikes was off, he just, he was too sloppy in my opinion, you know. But, just wanted to get that video out the way, you guys. Hopefully, you guys like the video. So with these martial arts videos, there's going to be a new thumbnail. 
that I'm doing, and this is going to be my father's logo. His it is gonna it's gonna be like this native logo with the wolf and it will say Mui on the top and it will say Baran on the bottom. I put the Mui and the Baran, I put the words in into that. It was just basically just playing, but then I just added the words to it to make it uh you know just to make it more fitting or whatever. So hopefully you guys like the video. Hopefully you guys like the newer thumbnails. I'm not used to other Mui type thumbnails anymore. This is strictly my logo and his logo. He told me, he said, if I pass, he said that logo is going to be yours. So it's my logo also. So it is, we have the license for it, so no one else can try to steal it without our permission if they can use it, you know. But hopefully you guys like that video. Smash the like button. Tell me what you guys want to see next. Probably tomorrow's video, I might do a nunchaku demonstration. Maybe, maybe not. If I don't, I'll do it in the next video, but tomorrow's video, stay tuned. Probably tomorrow's video or the day after, I'm probably going to do a whole movie tie training thing or whatever, just to get some uh, the cardio burnt in. And I'm still trying to work on getting a weight master here so I can at least have it and just get my, you know, training on for that, you know. But like I said, hopefully you guys like the video. Thank you guys for your awesome support. Sorry, I haven't really been doing the other content. Like I said, I'm focusing more on my martial arts, my gaming, and my vlogging. Those are the main three that comes first when I'm doing my videos, you know. And it's my channel. Those are the things I want to post. The wrestling and the Bay Boy could wait, you know. That's why I want to make a second channel and then do that stuff on. But, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for your awesome support. This is your... You're probably real. I'll leave you great. Signing out. Peace, guys.